Hi everyone, welcome back to Mommy's Kitchen. Today we're gonna learn a rich, creamy, and a flavorful dish that's highly served in all Indian restaurants. That's chicken korma. Chicken korma is a traditional Indian dish that's rich and flavorful, creamy curry made with coconut milk and cashews, and it tastes super delicious. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon for receiving notification for all my upcoming videos. Also share it with your family and friends. Let's learn how to make this delectable dish at home in a simple way. Firstly, we need to marinate the chicken. For that, into a bowl, add in clean and washed chicken. Chicken with bone tastes best. So I have taken 750 gram of chicken here and then add 3 fourth cup of yogurt to it and add 1 teaspoon of salt or as per taste wash your hands and mix well allow it to marinate for 30 minutes this process will tenderize the chicken and yogurt curd or dahi will get nicely absorbed into it let's move on to our cooking process now into a large saucepan heat 2 tablespoons of oil over medium heat once oil is simmering, add the sliced onions. Here I have used 3 medium size and cook for 2 to 3 minutes. Keep stirring constantly until it changes to light golden brown color. We've been simmering for 2 to 3 minutes and started changing color. So now it's time to add ginger garlic paste. So add 2 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste, mix and saute well until raw aroma goes away. We've been sauteing for 2 minutes now. It's time to add our spice powder. So here I'm adding 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder, 2 teaspoon of red chili or lal mirch powder. 1 4 teaspoon of black pepper or kali mirch powder 1 teaspoon of cumin or zira powder half a teaspoon of garam masala and 2 teaspoons of coriander or dhania powder I had already added 1 teaspoon of salt before adding the spice powder you can add as required mix and saute well for 2 minutes. Spices are sauteed well. At this stage, I have added 1 big sliced tomatoes and 2 cubed potatoes and covered and cooked for 5 minutes. You can skip this step if you don't prefer potatoes into your coma. However, my family loves to have it so I have added these two. Then it's time to add our marinated chicken and then add little water, mix well and allow the chicken to cook on low to medium heat for around 10 to 15 minutes. Keep sauteing in between. For that, cover the lid and allow it to cook. Meanwhile. Let's prepare the magical paste that gives creamy texture to this curry. That's coconut and cashew paste. So into a blender, add in half a cup of coconut and half a cup of cashews. Add little water and make a fine paste. Our coconut and cashew paste is ready. Keep it aside. On the other side, gravy has been simmering for 15 minutes and we can check the potatoes and the chickens are well cooked. So it's time to add our coconut and cashew paste. So add the coconut and cashew paste along with little water and allow it to cook for 5 minutes. So mix well and cook for 5 minutes until it reaches desired consistency. There are different ways of making a korma. Most of them are adapted to regional cuisines. This is my village version. 
that's specially found in all South Indian restaurants which they normally serve with parathas or steamed rice. Mix well and allow the gravy to cook for 5 minutes. It's been simmering for 5 minutes now. Traces of oil has been seen. At this stage, squeeze in 1 lemon juice and allow the gravy to cook for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, a mouth-watering, creamy and delicious kurma is ready. Garnish it with coriander leaves and enjoy it with steamed basmati rice, zira rice, naan, roti or paratha. Do try out this absolutely delicious kurma and leave your comments below. Hope you like this video. Soon we'll be coming up with another interesting recipe. Until then, take care and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep sharing. Thanks for watching. Happy cooking. Take care. Bye-bye.